that nothing good comes easy But they said that it's worth the fight I'm tired of turning the page to see it in hindsight I've never been a man to make plans I like to take life as it comes But now I see clear that I want you here for good Maybe it's as simple as we've made it And maybe it's just time to stop looking around Tell me I'm the one, tell me I'm loved Tell me you're all so certain Take a deep breath, you've been coming undone Searching for someone There's always a million reasons To hide your heart inside All the walls you've built for keeping me outside You always were the one to be strong But it's time to put down your guard You don't gotta make this so hard And maybe all you ever thought you wanted was all just leading you to make the choice. We're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Dan McKeefrey and Amanda Mollat. Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, commitment, friendship, and family. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. Do you, Dan, take Amanda to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold, <laughs> keeping yourself onto her for as long as you both shall live? Yeah. Do you, Amanda, take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself onto him for as long as you both shall live? Yeah. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may share your first kiss as a married couple. <laughs> So going back to 1998, I met Amanda in the third grade as the new girl at Kelly Elementary. She had a different best friend back then, but I'll never forget meeting her because she was actively with said friend pretending to be Pokemon on the playground. Then I realized when you have someone like Amanda in your life, the keeping up is the easiest part because her friendship is truly the most valuable asset you can have on your side. Dan was very prone to becoming injured. My dad would always joke, that uh, he had a rewards card with a local hospital system. Truth be told, Russ and I wrote a speech yesterday. The real story about Dan, and I think what encapsulates Dan as a man and Dan and Amanda together is his last night. We get hammered. <laughs> we go out, we, we drink a little bit. I get home maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes after. I'm, in, you know, I'm tucking myself in and all I hear is a... Nick, I can't sleep, I'm too excited. I asked the obligatory best man question. I said, are you ready? And he goes, without, without a whisper of a doubt, he says, absolutely. The way he said it was, I've seen all my buddies do it. I know what they're doing. I can talk to any of them about it. I mean, can I get a buddy? Yeah, see, now you get it. Dan, you're my best friend. Amanda, you've become one. And I would ask if everyone could join me we thank you for tonight. We love you for tomorrow. Cheers.
telling stories. 